And I'm back. Time for Double Jeopardy. I was a perfect 6 out of 6 again in the Jeopardy round, so I've had pretty good games this week. Well, I've had pretty good games throughout the season. Like, the new season started a couple weeks ago now, and every game that i played, I think, has been pretty good. I had one maybe bad, bad-ish game when I was like 7 or 8 out of 12. Uh, but yeah, some a bunch of them have been pretty good. Like, 10, I haven't had any perfect games, but I've had some 10s. I think I had an 11 in there, so close to perfect. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this game's gonna be good. Let's see. Double Jeopardy's coming up. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. Hmm, looks like hmm. you didn't finish the clues from earlier today. To continue from where you left off, just say resume. Or say replay to start from the very first clue. Resume. It's time for your next six clues. Let's hear them. The seventh category is... Getting coordinated. This imaginary line temporarily departs from 180 degrees longitude to pass between Tonga and Samoa. What is the equator? Sorry, the correct response date was... Line. What is the international date line? The next category is... Shouldn't have missed that. Mr. and Mrs. Songs. Sticks fans said, Domo arigato. For this 1983 hit with the lyric, My heart is human, my blood is boiling, my brain IBM. What is Mr. Roboto? That's it. The next category is... Operation. A rhinoplasty is an operation performed on this body part. What is your nose? Great. The next category is... Around the mansion, A.P.G. Whithouse character inspired this inimitable name for a male butler. With Jeeves. Great. Boom. The eleventh category is. Boom. How D. The response has the letters H, O, W, followed eventually by a D. This comedian has been a judge on America's Got Talent since 2010. Who is Howie Mandel? Yes, that's right. How D. The last category is... Partner. James Buchanan pardoned this Salt Lake City founder after he clashed with non-Mormon officials in the Utah War. Who is Brigham Young? That's correct. Look at the game. I think it was 11 out of 12. I only missed... Nice. You only missed one clue only today. Missed one, and it was easy. You scored in the top one percent of players today. Boom! Let's we'll go. see you tomorrow for more clues. Only clue I missed was pretty easy. I can't think of what it was right now, but I'm pretty sure that was easy. Like I don't know. Oh, it was the international date line. I don't know. I was thinking longitude, and I don't know. I went with the equator, imaginary line, and yeah, I, I don't know. I can't even talk right now. But yeah, they're both imaginary lines, obviously. But yeah, one, I don't know what the hint was, like, it went through Tonga and another country, like, where it shifted a little bit. I know the international date line does shift and the equator doesn't shift at all, so that was a bad guess on my part, because the equator is just straight across. Um, but yeah, that probably should have led me to the international date line, it probably would have went to it if I thought a little more, but instead, yeah, I just rushed and just went with the equator, because that was the obvious guess. Um, and yeah, I got it incorrect, so that sucks, that should have been a perfect game right there, but yeah. Thanks for watching.